because this is my song. Y'all hear this soon, so you know I just want to get a little intro in. You know we don't wait on deal so. Anyway, hey, this is the People of Power show. I am sitting next to D. I'm gonna be the M. Cause I'm the mistress of ceremony, so I'll be the M for the night. Okay, so D. M. D. Hey, what's up, everybody? And you know, on the People of Power, we are interactive. So if you have any questions for these entrepreneurs, please do not hesitate. Type, you know, we, we answer stuff. If it's crazy, we may not. I don't know. Right, right. Y'all might have some crazy, some, some crazy viewers coming on there. I, I don't know. I hope not. Lord, they. they so they, we gonna answer them. They, they, yeah, tell the truth. They plead. They plead the fifth over here. Know. Yeah, don't ask me nothing. I want to know. No, okay, okay. Well, anyway, for those people who don't know DMD, I don't know how you don't. If you've been to any club in what West Palm Beach, Boynton, Delray, these guys have been at the door promoting whatever. One of the, I would say, the best dressed uh, promoters in uh, in Palm Beach County. You've been labeled to be the most dapper. You try. Okay, y'all try. Okay, but beyond the club scene, these guys are actually entrepreneurs. So. Hey, Lacey. Lacey saying, give me all some love. Lacey, Lacey, Nicole's giving you some love. What's up, Lacey? So, what I'm going to do here, because we got a little, we got two people, but they are both entrepreneurs. They're not just the club guys. These actually, these guys own businesses. So, who wants to go first? Who, who's going first? We got the mic. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to start with you. So, for the people, we want to act like people don't know you. We do we, what we call a background check. Okay. Okay. So, we want to start off with who you are, and we're going to go into... The business that you have. Okay, I'm Dexter Murray. I'm DMD Marketing. I'm the owner of Air Experts. Uh, Air Experts is a uh, indoor air quality business. Uh, basically, we uh, do a lot of restoration, mold, uh, fire damages, water damages, uh, and um, also um, I'm the co-owner of Studio 404, which is an upcoming business. Dakota Barton will be located in the set in Delray Beach on Atlantic Avenue. Okay. So, what what made you want to start doing AC? Like what? Um, actually, the, the truth is, uh, I, I, it was a, uh, I turned the negative to a positive situation. Okay. Um, uh, Let's uh, hear the negative. Negative, um, you know, uh, a couple years, well, prior, mm -hmm. like, back in 98, I was involved in something, got in some trouble, ended up okay. going to jail. Okay. Uh, from that point, my father worked for Service America, mm -hmm. um, a company, uh, it was a service, uh, plumbing AC uh, company, they, you know, served to go out, a lot of people are familiar with, mm -hmm. and, um, um, he had been there for a while, so I was able to get a job there. And I started off working in the warehouse, in mm -hmm. the warehouse. Okay. So um, the manager thought that I did well mm -hmm. in the warehouse because of my personality. Mm -hmm. He thought that I'd do better in the field. Mm -hmm. So from that point, I ended up going out in the field. Mm -hmm. um, I took a liking to the air conditioning, air duct cleaning. I was like, whoa, this is something I can do, you know? So I, I was in a, a situation, I was in five-year probation. Okay. So I ended up working at Service Murray for five years. Mm -hmm. um, while I was there, I was learning the business. And I, you know, when I'm going back in the afternoon, I'm looking at these receipts like, wow, it's a lot of money, you know. That they make it. They was making. I'm okay. like, man, I was accustomed to a certain lifestyle at the time, you know. I was used right. to having money because mm -hmm. what I was involved in. Right. So uh, I was like, um, from that point, uh, you know, I spoke to my sister, which is one somebody, you know, um, we, you know, we encourage and inspire one another, my sister Lisa. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, sis, I think um, I want to try this myself, you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, I ain't have no business education as far as no knowledge. Like, you know, I graduated high school, that was it. Okay. So um, I was like, I feel like I can do this, you know. Mm -hmm. So we went for it, you know. So you had to get certified yeah. and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, my sister, she um she had the inside insight on the business because she mm -hmm. was working in the internal part of the business. Okay. And I was in the field. So mm -hmm. we kinda of came together and um she got married and her and her business was able to and her, and her husband was able to start a business at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh I moved forward with air experts, you know, okay. because I hadn't did it for the company so long. You know, I'm on I'm in the van with myself, so mm -hmm. if I can do it for the company in their van, I can, yeah, I can do it for myself. Now that's a lesson for everybody. Yeah. You start so, off working for somebody else, right. but so from that your point, own. uh, end up you know, we saw marketing and you know, you know, getting the business out there. I started off small, you know, was kind of afraid to charge my customers because mm -hmm. you know, I was new to the business, I didn't know what to charge. Like, oh, 
I was so happy to have a job, like, oh, 100 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> Whatever pays, right? Yeah, you yeah, know, just, just had to get my feet wet at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, from that point, you know, I grew. And the things that I didn't know, I, um, you know, because I didn't have the education and knowledge on it, I go by Barnes and Nobles mm-hmm. on a certain, um, you know, if I run into a dead end in the business, I find something on that topic and mm-hmm. I read on it and I apply it to my business. Wow. So from, you know, and it just from that point, it was a lot of heavy marketing and um, staying humble, being persistent about mm-hmm. it. And I didn't get, you didn't give up, you know, mm-hmm. you're praying to God, you know, like say, um, we're, we're, um, faith without works, you know, so I put in my yeah. work. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a message. Yeah. And that's, that's, how, message. that's how, and since being, I've been 20 years now, been in the business. Yeah. Really? In 20 years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you age well. I'm thinking, well, I'm yeah. trying to do math yeah, now. I'm like. Wow. So for people, because I know, like, when you, I know a lot of guys who've been into, like, AC refrigeration, right. things like that. Right. What is, What would you say, like, your biggest takeaway from it as far as giving them advice on if you want to start the business? How hard is it? How easy is it? What are the well, challenges? You, you, you just got to be willing to, um, be patient, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not it's not gonna happen overnight, so you gotta have patience about it. Just so you gotta hold yourself, be patient. You are gonna run into it's just like uh, you chasing your dreams. Just like I look mm-hmm. at it like um, being in traffic, you know. The you're gonna, is in the you, building. You, 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 gonna, you gonna come to these stop stop lights, these red lights, mm-hmm. but you just gotta be patient. All my life, red lights always turn green. Correct. So mm-hmm. you know, just like the business, you're chasing your dream. Eventually, that red light that you run into is gonna become green one day, mm-hmm. and you just go on, you continue on. Mm-hmm. So I went into a lot of situations after that, and after a while, the longer you're into the business, it just get easier. It's like yeah. butter after that. Right. So do you think that? Because I know you probably the business kind of fell in your lap because you didn't know really that you really right, wanted to right. do that. You kind yeah. of realized, well, God said it, it made right, right, right. It out. and it made more sense. You're like, wait a minute, I can make this money. But some people don't like they start off and they're like, oh, I can just start a business. I could right. be the CEO. I could be a yeah. boss. Yeah. Overnight. Right. 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 Can you give like school some people on that? Because they think that that boss. Mentality yeah, is a, a flip a of a switch. Like, nah, it's, gonna, it's gonna take some hard work and dedication. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't give up. It's like you know, it's a lot of things that would discourage you. Even people, you know, your family mm-hmm. members, friends that would discourage you. Like you know, it can't happen. But I'm one of the type of person. I'm driven by a person telling me that I can't do anything. I like to do the impossible. You right. know, so um, you tell me I can't. That's gonna push me even more. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm driven on that. You know, mm-hmm. I like to do what they say it can't be done. You know, that's what mm-hmm. I, I, you know, that's that, that inspired me, that motivate me. Oh yeah, yeah, that definitely does. Time, yeah. So you have a, do you have like a big staff? Is well, I got a six man crew. Okay, that's yeah, pretty you decent. Know, I, you know, sometimes you know I don't need all six. You know, it depends on my job. You know, mm-hmm. but I sell out a lot of work because I do more air duct. My this business is based on air duct cleaning, like an indoor air, air quality as far as like um, you know um, bacteria removal, bacteria and fungus. But I do optional services like. You, know, you need to hire this man. We're going to hire yeah, you because, yeah. listen, especially living in Florida, like, right, you see a lot, of, don't you, yeah, with the of, yeah, allergies? A lot of people don't, don't get it, but when you remove those vents, you don't know what's behind. It's a lot of What's the worst thing you've seen behind the vent? A beer can. A <laughs> beer can? That's the yeah, worst I'm thing? Yeah, I'm just saying, I mean, it's dirty, but I'm saying... <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, back in the days with construction. You never like, seen nothing living, no crisp? Nah, nah, nothing, no crisp. Really? Besides a ro- roach or something, you know, no oh. bugs, no, no rodents or... You know. Okay, I just like to hear yeah. those like stories. No, like, no, no, no. I, I'm sure we gonna get to him. He done saw some dirty stuff. We gonna yeah, get yeah. to him. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so please let people know, like, who want to get in touch with you on your the, yeah. your business. Your yeah, you can hit, give me a call at five six one four zero five zero four two two. Social sites are uh, at Experts Florida, mm-hmm. um, IG, Facebook, what have you. You do um, emergency calls and all that? Uh, sometimes depend. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're honest. No, 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 no. You know, because some people front yeah, for the yeah. camera, like, call yeah, us 24-7. Yeah. We, no, we know. I ain't doing the 24-7. You know, we get into the entertainment business, so I ain't doing it. Sometimes. I mean, it depends. So I do weekend. Okay. As far as, like, late night. It depends. Yeah. Okay. There's really no emergency for, no, like. Not, I don't think, no, no, no. But, like, so I got officer service. I do mm-hmm. um, have guys go out and do installs, commercial, okay. residential. So I do it all. Okay. But it's just like I said, based on the indoor air quality. Mm-hmm. So. For the ladies that are looking who who don't like know about that, how often do you recommend people get their air ducts changed? Well, if you got a new house, your first five years after being into a new home, mm-hmm. uh, and from there it's like every three years. Wow. Well, okay. And the, and the thing is, uh, you know, if you change like most people don't, it's like household things that you can do mm-hmm. to keep the bacteria moving. As far as like. Uh, if you spray when air tank change your filter, if you spray it with Lysol, mm-hmm. can Lysol because the, the, the air handle is like a vacuum. Okay. So it pulls everything that way. So if you spray that area, that box area, 
how your filter, mm -hmm. um, it eliminates the bacteria and mold as it passes through the filter. Gotcha. That way oh, it's wow. not traveling through the airways. Okay. Now see, this is why I like the people of power because, you know, a lot of times we didn't know all this. See, we could right. dug up some stuff on right, you. Right, right. That that background check. That background check is so important, right. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay, so we are gonna go over to. Uh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He's like, oh, my turn, my turn. Yes, yes, it's your turn. <laughs> so, Mr. Uh, Willie, you, you have like two names on Facebook. What do you want to call you? You want to call you Willie? You call me Willie. Okay. Yeah. So for Willie, he got his feedback. He got his live on him. <laughs> What you doing over there? Okay, now we're going to turn on. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's let's start with you. So let the people know. Let's do a background check on Mr. Willie Desmond. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I am Willie Davis. That's my name. Dead. Really? Okay. Okay. I go by Desmond. I like Desmond better. Latoya in there said he's all excited. He's turned. <laughs> hey, leave me alone, Tony. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, as in we actually started. Um, our contracting or our profession, you know, the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, we both work for Service America, and um, you too. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we started together. Okay. And, um, okay. You know, I got in the service end of, of plumbing. You know, like you know, installing stuff, you know, mm -hmm. fixtures, faucets, all this, whatever, fixing or repairing. Okay. And um, from that point, it was the same like life. You know, you go, you put in a water heater. You put in this stuff, I'm like, man, you know, they make a lot of money. Right. So, um, yes, they do. They do. In my travels, as I went on, you know, I worked for maybe like three companies. And at one point, you know, things happened and he already had took off on his own. He's like, man, cuz you can do this. Mm -hmm. You know, so my motivation came from, from Dex. Like, go, Dex, give you a yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, he, yeah, sure. he did it to me a lot, you know, man. Mm -hmm. Cause go take off, cause you know what you're doing, mm -hmm. and um, that's what happened. You need that accountability partner, well, like you don't, don't you? Know, right. That, that. He, if you don't have no one want to see you grow, you should be around them. You know. Say that again. If you don't have anyone that want to see you grow, you should be around them. Okay. So he wants me to be successful as I want him to be. So mm -hmm. we, you know, we came up and um, actually we started do, helping each other out with each other's business. Okay. He was doing air duct. He's a captain. I, you know, I learned mm -hmm. some of it, and at the same time, we did plumbing together. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't know. Me and him, like, did a, like a ton of water heater service right. really? together. Okay. Absolutely. You know, so we locked it down. So, in that point, <laughs> I did move away, and I, I lived in Atlanta, which I learned uh, more into plumbing, mm -hmm. commercial end, okay. uh, the ground up, you know, mm -hmm. blueprints. So I. I learned levels in my travel, so now I'm a full-fledged plumber. Well, hold your mic. You know, you can tell he's in a club because he holds his mic like a liquor cup, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he holds the mic well, like a liquor cup. Go ahead. Well, you know, it, um, and we just went from that point. So mm -hmm. now I, I read my blueprints, you know, I know my service in, and I mm -hmm. know I can build a house from ground up. Mm -hmm. So I've been, wow. I've been doing it for a very long, you know, 20 mm -hmm. years. Um, I've, uh, you know, let's see. I mean, did houses, uh, commercial buildings, mm -hmm. small remodels, it doesn't matter. But now, at this point in my time, I'm more on the, like, you know, the remodel end, mm -hmm. you know, like stuff you've never seen before. So it, it, I just take my mind yeah. to a whole other spot where people want to see or what they want to have so I can mm -hmm. help them with that. Right. I saw you on Facebook. You got like these million dollar bathrooms that he's been, uh, yeah, he's yeah, been yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. And it, it's, it, it excites me. Mm -hmm. It excites me to keep doing it because it's never the same. You know, what you want in your place, you know, is different. It's all what's in your mind. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I watch a lot of HDTV and I see what people put in their homes. I'm like, I do that or I love to do that or I take that idea mm -hmm. and give it to someone that's, you know, that's willing to pay. <laughs> Cause it's, so with your business, you, you basically, so people know all that you do under your business umbrella. So you do the plumbing, you, you can remodel. Yeah, I can um, do from ground up. Mm -hmm. You can look at the build a house. Really? Okay. I can do from ground up. I can do service work, which a lot of people know I do a lot of service work, help mm -hmm. fix whatever. Um, I am an emergency service also. Okay. Um, but um, small remodels, listen, it's, it's, it's what I post, and you see, you know, mm -hmm. those people may be spending, you know, somewhat, you know, a couple bucks or something, but you can you can have that. Mm -hmm. You know, it just all depends on how you 
you know, how much money you want to put into it, but it don't take a lot to make your home look, you know, like what you see on TV. Trust me. Wow, ladies. Now, let me just ask you a question, because mm-hmm. we were talking, um, I don't know if you saw the interview yesterday with Lil Pearl, mm-hmm. and I'll just ask you, because I know you, Home Depot, is that a good spot, you think, for ladies, for single ladies? <laughs> <laughs> We, we were it's, saying that because we you, you're in home. I'm sure you're in home. You're, you're in home Depot a lot, right? Right. right. Is that you think it's a good spot for the ladies? The meet entrepreneurs, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, ladies, yeah. I got two yeah. entrepreneurs who who probably That's stay. Women. I, I, I Matilda, up, we gonna get look at Matilda. She she oh. can tell she a helper. What's Thank the you, name Matilda. of your company? I'm Royal, I'm Royal, Plumbing. <laughs> Royal Plumbing. Royal Plumbing. So you should actually add on a little bit onto that, right? Royal Plumbing, yeah, Royal Plumbing and, and drain cleaning. And drain cleaning yeah, and, and service. House building and no, that's it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Don't me. I tell you the rest. <laughs> I tell you what I do. What did you say? I just said. Oh, okay. You had look at you had a comment. Okay, so for you, because mm-hmm. we, we like to give advice out on the show mm-hmm. for people who are looking to be in this What are the biggest like myths or or like you would say concerns in the industry or people who may not know a lot about what you do? Because uh, I think you got a hard job, personally. It is. I mean, plumbing is tough, man. I mean, it's the second oldest trade in the world. <laughs> you know, you and disgusting. You know, so it can be right. Yeah, it all depends on which end of plumbing you want to be in. No pun intended. You know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not a road rooter. I'm not a you know this that. But oh, okay. You start somewhere. Mm-hmm. You can start in their, their phases. There, there are guys that like to be out in the field that you know just run pipes and you know build homes. Mm-hmm. And there's a service end. But the one thing you can do is you you know I mean I locked it all in because. I want more, yeah. you know, so I don't want to be just held, you know, stagnant just to be a service guy, and I don't know how to read blueprints and mm-hmm. stuff like that, so mm-hmm. you just got to, if you're going to do good in the business, you got to, you know, keep learning. Keep educating because yourself. Because there's, right? every year, every you always see some fancy faucet, you always see some fancy house being built, you always see new products that are better, so you got to change with the time, mm-hmm. and that's, you know, that's with education, you know, you take your craft seriously, then you can, you know, you can, you know, you can go far. See, this is why I like the people of Power Show. Not just because, you know, I created it and I'm the host and anything. Love but but no, show. but this is actually, I love this because, let's like say, a lot of people see you all and they don't know this. Like, you, this, you this, this, yeah, this they, brothers they, are deep. They, they really don't know we, we you know. Yeah, they think we just party animals. animals yeah, like they dress think up. what now? They think we party animals is like to dress up. It, exactly, but I knew better. So yeah. that's why I wanted you to all do the intro so we can. Yeah get to know who you are okay so we we know you, you got two businesses two brothers now who wants to start off how did you start with the promotion part of it yeah we did a party yeah. one party yeah we okay go ahead well you know i mean he likes to we both like to do nice things and mm-hmm. it was a nice venue and they were like wow man we love this place you know we wanted to throw a nice you know party so it started from there. Mm. And we only invited 50, so. Yeah, we did a, we did a free, two free holiday yeah, parties. Yeah, two free holidays. annual holiday, holiday party that we have, which is this, it was our 10th annual, this coming Yeah, thing. coming up. We, you see, we did that party for free, we just, mm-hmm. for the first two years. But, um, so everybody got in free. Everybody got in free. Everybody yeah. got in free. Yeah. We our order. We just, I, really, we was trying to get our people to start enjoying the downtown Delaware. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because we okay. had most of the clubs were like, you know, West of 95, or, the Elks Lounge somewhere, so G-B-O-B. we wanted we wanted to show them a different type of life, invite them, show them another Matilda. venue, you know. So right. we kind of we had well yeah yeah we started with Matilda too, uh, the grown set the tone. Matilda no, was no, a, no no you gotta listen. She performed. Oh yeah, at, right. Uh, third or fourth annual. Yes, yeah, I, I mean, did. Yeah, we, yeah, you did. Yes, Keontae and I performed. Yes, that's Absolutely. right. Yes, and I, you know it's funny because like everybody used to talk about the DMD parties. It's like you gotta go to a DMD party. Yeah, yeah. And you got to make sure you dress. Like, you all made people go out and buy clothes. You set the tone. You, you, you did what? You set the tone. You set the tone. Right. Like, because, you know, it's like the men shouldn't look better than the women. That's and but Well, you know. You know. It, the thing is, you know, women go shopping. <laughs> right. You have that nice dress you want to wear. You have those mm-hmm. nice heels you want to bring out. And when you go to somewhere, you want to go somewhere nice. Mm-hmm. But you you want a gentleman to comp, you know to compliment you, mm-hmm. or if he's going to come approach you, or you know you you want to feel comfortable. But yet, yeah, you know if if you, if a guy looks nice, his options are you know better than a guy enjoying is coming up to a lady in some nice heels and a nice dress. No, 
doesn't go like. But well, let me tell you, usually when I see a nice dressed man, the first thing I think, and ladies, you can let me know. I be like, well, who dressed up? Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Um, no, I'm serious because you know a lot of times when you're in relationships, a lot of times a woman usually is the one like, oh, I need to, you know this will look cute with that. But mm -hmm. you all got your own style, like regardless of yeah, the relationship. You've been doing it for a long time. Yeah, we'll make that woman step it up. You yeah. think what? Yeah, we'll make that woman step it up. Yeah, we'll make yeah she want to put the heels on. So what? Come out with no flat. So the first club that you started was in Delray. Yeah, it was King's Lounge, man. Ghost Bar. Ghost Bar. We did Ghost Bar with J. Rod and mm -hmm. King's Lounge first. Kings Lounge, then we uh, joined J Rod and Prentice Cutter. Yeah. At the mm -hmm. Ghost Bar. Mm -hmm. And then we was in West Palm. Mm -hmm. We did West Palm. Chauncey, the smells yeah. too. Yeah, everybody, some of those yeah. boys stay clean. Yeah. We did, um, then J Rod and um, it was a, it was a Prentice spot. had the open mic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up in uh, West Palm. Yeah. So we kind of, those boys kind of got us really. Yeah. It was tough. It was, like, it was tough, know. man. Because we had so, some dead nights. <laughs> what? Okay. That's what I'm going to talk about. The lot, because a lot of, we, oh gosh. Palm Beach County has had a lot of promoters. I worked in a nightclub myself for two right, years. Right. So I, I've seen a lot come and go. I've seen some things. Right, right, right. How would you describe in Palm Beach County, like, what the life of a promoter? Good, bad, ugly? Well, um, it's up and down. It depends. You got to find your targeted marketing people, people that you're going to target. So right. what we try to do, we try to stay on that grown and sexy. Okay. You know, we try to when the mature crowd they want to come out and dress. You know, we kind of you know we mix up here and there. We mm -hmm. we thug it out sometimes too. Okay. But uh, we try to stay <laughs> on that uh, that growing the sexy end of it. You know, that was our following. We did mm -hmm. well with that because mm -hmm. you know guys come out and dress. You don't need no security. Correct. One man at the door. Yeah. Well, usually when people are dressed up, they don't want to fight. Right, they don't want to fight. They don't want to fight. White well, tees and yeah. yeah. In, in the event you made. Matilda yeah. says she's still waiting on some checks. <laughs> Hey Rochelle, yeah, we were the ones that, were, that didn't want to dress up. Yeah. Rachel yeah. said, "Hey fam, Queen of Controversy." <laughs> no said, "Hey fam, hey so, fam." Yeah, you know. yeah we made the ones want they want to dress up. You know, mm -hmm. like for the holiday party, a lot of guys that don't dress up all the time. Like, yeah. hey man, listen, man, I got my this, I got yeah, my that. Like Homeboys like, okay. stepping it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before we used to be all the one, but they put a lot of pressure out there now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's coming? Yeah, <laughs> so dressing up. Hey, so okay, so like you said, you okay? That was your genre. For the themes mostly was a grown and sexy that was your right, vibe right, right. and how many clubs have you all worked at do you think collectively about 20 maybe more 10, 10 yeah i don't think so 10. Yeah, about 10. About 10. Yeah, 10. Larry green said what's up it's like uh we kind of stayed on our end on the south yeah mm -hmm. the county. Mm -hmm. we stayed on the south end every now and then we come you know we'll, we'll link up with other promoters rohan and, mm -hmm. and you can shout out to them that's yeah, good yeah, yeah, other guys out there. right Mm -hmm. Roll and Bowl and who else we linked up with? Um, uh, Chris, well. Chris did some be well. I mean, everybody. 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 Yeah, I think we yeah. did it with everyone. So, what do, you, what do you think, like, because, for example, why do you think, like, clubs here don't last more than, I would say, what, two years usually? Two year running? Well, you know, Lifespan? I, me personally, I think radio play a big part. I mean, you look at radio. Nine, we got 99 Jam down there. You know, okay. they're getting that, that free promo on the radio and, mm -hmm. and they're inviting the celebrities. And, mm -hmm. So, you know, they're doing a lot of heavy marketing for the area, for that, you know. And it's, plus, it's the city, it's Miami. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, most of the nightlife here closed at 2 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. What's, yeah. yeah. You know, people don't come out at 12. I mean, right. what's fun is. I think it's Derry. up to 4 or 5. Yeah, Derry, yeah. Derry too. Okay. Yeah, Cause I know you've come down here. To yeah, Dairy, so I said right. Oh yeah, two's, two's early. Yeah, yeah, two's kind of early. And if you're dealing yeah, with any yeah. of body from the island, they get they come out at yeah. two. <laughs> but I don't know. You know once you find, but, but it's good money here though. Mm -hmm. It's good money in, in Palm Beach County. I mean, once you find your target market and you you, know, you please your, your 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 customers, the people that right. want to know you take care. Of, they'll keep, they'll keep yeah. So do you think mostly it's like the owners that run these places yes. that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, they do. You know, um, you can bring good ideas to a place, mm -hmm. but it's kind of convincing them, look, this is what you need. Mm -hmm. You know, we bring the people, but it's up to you to keep them. Absolutely. You know, you got liquor, you, know, you run your specials, run mm -hmm. specials, you got a pack house, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. You know, two for one for such and such, or five dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know, hour, hour you yeah, know, you got a big house, it's like, okay, mm -hmm. we, got, we got Dollar Heineken's going for the next 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to take care of your people. Like mm -hmm. Des is saying, you bring them there, it's your job to keep them there. Right. And you think that's what one of the, the issues, yeah. the main get, issues? They get greedy and jack up greedy. prices. They get greedy. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate, because I see you all, I mean, y'all been, like I said, doing it for a while. So mm -hmm. is this why you're doing... 
So your new this venue? Is, this okay, is Okay, l- let's talk about that. We're going to talk about that. So what is it called? Studio 404. Well, 404, is that, that's Atlanta, right? That's no, that's Atlanta. the address. That's the address. Oh, okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm thinking about the area code. Yeah. I'm thinking about the area code. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the address. Mm-hmm. How we came up with Studio 404. The history oh, of um, the building, the studio, it was a half studio. Okay. So, and 404 is, the, 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 of course, mm-hmm. uh, 404 is the door number. And the, that's the address. Okay. So, that's why we came up with Studio 404. So gotcha. Okay. Uh, studio 404 is like, you know, there's some sort of fat twosies and... Wet Willis, it's frozen Dr. Bar. It's a uh, three Good piece. place for the Alkies. Three yes, piece building. Totally. <laughs> like saying dairy on the okay. lake down. Okay. Patio, rooftop. Mm. Rooftop later on, maybe not right away when we open it, but um, moving um, in the future a little. But definitely the patio and the indoor okay. course will be open. Okay. And um, it, it was a cafe as well, so we can serve food. Small food, like bass wings, burgers, mm-hmm. you know, just small baskets, small plates, you know. Right, right, not them too major, yeah, but yeah, nice. Yeah. So DJ and all that good stuff? Yeah, we're going to have nightlife. Okay. But, you know, it's not going to be a club. Mm-hmm. It will be um, a cafe as mm-hmm. well, so we will you know, be family friendly during okay. the day, but we will have a nightlife, live music, entertainment, mm-hmm. um, DJs. You know, and what are the hours going to be? Well, we, you know, we're going to kind of, you know, we got to let it you know, work itself out. You know, we okay. may start off with something 11 to 2 a.m., but, you know, eventually mm-hmm. it depends on the customers, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It said club owners get greedy once uh, the promotions get the people there. Right. And it's, Latoya, when is it opening? Um, June, July. June, July. Get, you, trust me, you know, it, it's, things a, happen. It's, it's a journey. And it's, so things happen. It, it's no, new, things it's happen. A, a new project. Right. Uh, to myself, something I've never been involved in. Okay. So, you know, it, it kind of taught me a lesson at the same time. You know? What lesson did it teach you? Tell us. Um, I, I was just lack of knowledge. Okay. It was okay. The lesson was just I didn't know anything about it when we got into it, you know. Mm-hmm. It just something, like I said, it was a challenge. And somebody said I couldn't do it. And mm-hmm. For the very first brother we met, I ain't going to call no names, but I met with his brother um, talking about, it, like, I don't see it happening. And when he said that, it just turned on my light bulb when we really? took off from that so point. He didn't think, well, he didn't think the project would I don't, just I don't manifest? See it. He just said, I don't see it happening. And, uh, mm-hmm. He was telling me, I don't see how it's going to work, but now it's, it's buzzing big time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like the county, it's, it's Delray Beach. Gonna... Both sides of the city. You co-signing? You co-signing? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we're definitely <laughs> on the move now. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, one thing you got to understand, we're on Atlantic, on Atlantic Avenue. And for us to be up there, it, you know, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of tackles you know you gotta mm-hmm. you know from the city department mm-hmm. you know telling you same thing you can't do it oh you know you know what is this and that and by just moving forward jumping keep jumping the hurdles jumping the hurdles mm-hmm. we overcome that you know some people just draw you along to see how how good your will is mm-hmm. but, mm-hmm. but now we're in motion you know we got mm-hmm. through the mud you know and, and he's been strictly you know going down to the city Getting everything right, and everybody has helped us along this far. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they see it, and that's the big thing—the permit. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I know I noticed about you too. Like you all have the the perseverance spirit. Like, you know, you keep going. Yeah. Regardless, because I'm sure that, especially with the promotion of the club, I know sometimes it feels that business can become so saturated. Right, right. You have like 20 promoters, and everybody's kind of cutthroat, and yeah. everybody's kind of doing their thing. Like, what keeps you motivated to just keep moving and not? Because you got a business, so right. you don't have yeah. to do this. Another thing, keep it motivated. You know, you got younger brothers, you know, watching and paying attention to you. So, okay. you know, so it's kind of like, meaning not you, in relationship. Yeah, no, you got, to you, you, like, just, you're, you're the teacher, okay? Okay. It seems okay. We've been the promoters for you know ten years now. Mm-hmm. So you got to get off the porch. You got to get out of the way. Let yeah. these brothers. Somebody yeah. else. It's time for someone else to take over. Mm-hmm. So then, from that point, we move on to the venue. Mm-hmm. Man, this brother know when you finish promoting, the next step should be getting your own venue. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't continue to make money for someone, someone else. else. Right, right. Right. You start seeing those numbers and looking at that bar, you realize that door money is not really where it's at. It's right. the bar. Right. It's the bar money. Right, right. Do you want to add on to that? No, you hit that on, on mm-hmm. the head. You know, you got to, um, you know, as far as, like you said, other young people watching you, they're admiring what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they're getting educated. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They look at, well, they ask you, well, I want to get into promotion, how I do it. Well, you just, you know, just tell them the steps. But mm-hmm. they, mainly they got to, you know, be, you know, focused on what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as, okay, how are you going to do it? What's your team like? 
you know, they see this and that, but the kind of crowd you want. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you got to, like, think of longevity when you come into a spot. This type of people come in, come mm -hmm. out. You know what I'm saying? That's been the good thing about us is, you know, when you got people that want to dress up or, or, or look nice, you know, mm -hmm. we, we don't have problems or, you know, our security and all that stuff like mm -hmm. that. So we've been pretty well. We've never, never had a shame of death or anything. Mm, that's been, right, Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a couple fights here and there, but. Right, but nothing no, no, where no, they're gonna close season. it yeah, down right, and right, right. Yeah. and fire hazards and, and right, you got right, greedy right. and all that good stuff. Yeah, right. So what, like, for the promoters that are people are, like wanting to be promoters, what advice would you give them, like, right now? Because I mean, the game has changed a little bit. You got social media out there now, right. so it's not like back in the day where it seemed like it would be easier now to promote. No. Is it? It, it, it's, it's much easier now. You don't have to hit the streets. But you just got to do it. Okay, what you say now? You don't have to hit the streets? You don't have to pass out flyers on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, flyers. You know, you got to get 5,000 flyers and go put them on cars, you know. Oh, that later became trash. Yeah. We quickly noticed yeah, that. Frizzy. The frizzy. Yeah, <laughs> man, that, that boy, no. I, don't, I, I was never a flyer fan. You never a flyer fan? Never. Okay. You so, sent out the mass Texas text yeah, messages? yeah. I, I make it personal as possible, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you know, you mm -hmm. know, but you know, just do a fly on, on the book. Everybody sees it, you know, they don't like, like it a thousand times, but mm -hmm. they see it. Mm -hmm. But if you got 30, 50 likes, you got 200 people coming in, you know, so, mm -hmm. but they see it, mm -hmm. you know, so if they looking for somewhere to go, they go in there. Okay. Well, we're going to check out the spot. Mm -hmm. you no know, DMV doing something. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that's just basically, you know, how it goes. Mm -hmm. But if anyone, wanting to get into the business, mm -hmm. one, I guess they first got to have some type of following, you know, okay. some type of who, their identity, you know, to be what kind of crowd they want. Now, let's see about that, that keyword following. See, mm -hmm. it is a lot of false following on social media. Yeah. You know, I would, I don't think because you have 5,000 friends, you have a following. That's no. just not, no. right? No, that's right? Not. But, but people don't know that. No, they no, think no. it's no. quantity and there's quality. Yeah. Right? So I think that true following is like you said, they, they're at the door. They're, they're, they're coming to your right, event. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. spreading the word for right, you. Right, right, right. Those are streets. Because yeah. that's why I just wanted you to kind of elaborate. Because some people think, oh, I got 5,000 friends. Most of your true My followers, event going mean, to be packed. You got to think about it. You're real buddies. <laughs> yeah. Your home is really not, you know, you don't expect to make money off your friends. They're not coming yeah. out here. My yeah, boys they, not coming out. My, my circle of guys that I ain't really hang out with. My boys. Really? Yeah. They, I mean, you know, they they have for age, they got family, so they, okay. they're not they not in the club scene, but they yeah. from time to time special events they'll come yeah, out and support. Out. But mm -hmm. I don't respect that. I'm not trying to make money off them anyway. Okay. So you know, but they all but at the same time they encourage and they inspire me. Mm -hmm. they, they they give me that prep talk and it's like it's not like what you got going on. So mm -hmm. it's not like just because they're not walking in the door, I'm still getting support. You understand? Gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. sometimes we just talk about different things. They they push it, you know, continue mm -hmm. on days. I like what you and Dave are doing, y'all. Y'all keep, t you know, mm -hmm. so sometimes support just in the conversation. It don't have to be actually cracking that door. That's you know? true. So you think the biggest misconception in throwing events is that the people that in your immediate circle are going to be your biggest supporters? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That takes a moment of silence needed. Yeah, you know, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the people, the people, people what not, what'd you say? The people in your circle, like yes. your immediate circle, like what? you just said, your homeboys, your homegirls. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest misconception I've seen, even throwing events myself, is right. that those are the ones that are going to be the, the biggest supporters of you. Not necessarily. No. Okay. No, they may support it and sharing it and help you with marketing, but yeah. you know, people have families and mm -hmm. things going on in life, so you don't expect them to get the, the biggest supporters are people that you don't know. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm That's saying. I think, and I think yeah. a lot of times people. I mean, you get to know them, of course, because they support right. you. Right. They not, support you, but, but they get disappointed. You, right. They're not knowing what yeah. you're doing. I guess if in an event, if you have an event, yeah, you want your friends to come. You know, support mm -hmm. an event. You know, if you're doing your thing. You like, yeah, I'm doing an event on this date. Mm -hmm. I think that's important. You know, for family friends that attend. But when you're talking about something that's every night. weekend, right. you know what I'm saying? They ain't, I mean, don't expect them to come here. Like, like you said, they got families and this and mm -hmm. that. But, um, you know, in that, in that aspect, you know, most of your following be like from a whole nother city. You know? Really? you know, they don't be like right here mm -hmm. where you're from. I mean, we, we experience that a lot. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. people that come to the door are like Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, you mm -hmm. know, somewhere else, you know. But um, but then when that's all built up, now to see it, you know, it's it's all together. Mm -hmm. Now here they come. 
Yeah, yeah, you see it come later. <laughs> you see it come later. Like I, I don't know who did the love and the hearts on that one, but you just made you just hit a chord on that one. Yeah. But why do you think that is? Do you and you can be candid. Like, let I mean, let, truth be told, like, why do you think it's the people on the outside that tend to gravitate to you more than the people on the inner side that like you think know. you still want to know? That's like yeah. the million yeah, dollar yeah. question. Yeah, that's I don't million dollar question. Truth. Somebody said truth. I'm. I'm just. You know. I'm. I'm wondering. I'm just. I wanna. Yeah, that's. I you mean, still anyone that has. You know. Did something or mm -hmm. in this business. Mm -hmm. Usually, see. For instance, you got a lot of things going on right mm -hmm. here in West Palm, Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm. We'll fly down to South Beach for a lot of Dell mm -hmm. for day parties. Uh, for day parties. Mm -hmm. You know everything going on, but someone can actually do that here. But mm -hmm. some for some reason. We feel like we have to go away from your yeah. city mm -hmm. to have a you know a good time, mm -hmm. and people put together a lot of stuff. You know, what I'm saying they them do a good job. Right. You know, it's just to them. I mean, there are a lot of That's professional really nice. people as yeah. well that do very nice things here. So I don't understand. They see what it takes. Yeah. Yeah. Taste what mm -hmm. going far is what that's going to accomplish. You know, you're just going far to have a good time, but you know, but we can build here. You know, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and I just think. That's what everybody needs to focus on, you know. Bring Palm Beach County together and you know support mm -hmm. it. Do you think is that people don't they, they don't like to see the same people? That's the, the one of the things that they feel yeah, like they know, want to be probably. brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're yeah. in another city, you feel brand sometimes new. Sometimes you can get bored. I mean, I feel the same way sometimes. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can see different. Yeah, you can. Some that's true. You know, you want to go just mm -hmm. to see something different. But like I said, in the whole, mm -hmm. you have uh, you can actually have them coming down here, bring different to your city. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's our main focus. I mean, you know, a lot of stuff we do, just say as BNB marketing, we have a lot of people come from, like I said, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, mm -hmm. and they come travel way down here to party with us. You know, so sometimes you just got to work hard and you know just reach out that way and bring them in. I mean, like, okay, for Rohan, I've seen him bring, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. Broward to Palm Beach County. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so it's possible. So it's a lot of things we can do here. And you know everybody just support and make it make it happen. Mm -hmm. It can happen here. You know we got a lot of beautiful venues, and they're they're good people that are, you know, doing these things. Like I said, so we just need to stay. Oh, local. you know, speaking of venues, maybe you all can help. Um, I had someone tell me that they have a a bride that unfortunately canceled their wedding, mm -hmm. and it's for April twenty second, and they paid. Um, it was like almost eleven thousand dollars for the venue, mm -hmm. but they they called off the wedding, so they only have four thousand dollars that they need to pay on the venue. But it's, they won't get their money back. But it's April twenty second, and it's in Fort Lauderdale, a beautiful event. Do you, <laughs> I'm just See, I got a text. Huh? No, no, I got a text. I don't know if you all know somebody that may need a, a venue um, on April twenty second. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry about that, the venues. You all don't pay for venues? No. no. You don't bring the crowd. I got to pay you and pay you money. Okay, well, speak about why you don't pay for venues. I don't bring you money. I got to pay you to bring you money. Yeah, that's pretty much that been. Sense. I mean, we love downtown. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's where we've been most successful in our own city. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, we appreciate, you know, the venues that we have. Be like, we've been at El Bar Shows for yes. yeah, pretty much all the holiday parties there forever, mm -hmm. you know, except last year. But, um, you know, they're not used to, I mean, our culture is very rich. You know, we go, we, we, we spend Wakanda money. Wakanda forever. Yes, right. <laughs> we yes. Spend, we spend money. Mm -hmm. um, and, on things that we want to spend money on, because, right. you know, sometimes. But when they go out, you know, they, they want to have a good time. They know the, 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 the um, you know, you save a lot of money when you do buy a bottle, you got friends. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we spend money. So this is like on the other point about why these clubs don't last, the uh, owners yes. get greedy because they know we spend money. So when we brought this to our venues, you know, they're like, whoa, you know, you brought me money, the venue's yours. You right, know? right. Mm -hmm. They appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and we appreciate them for, you know, like saying, hey, you don't have to pay anything to mm -hmm. to, to do your venues here or whatever you want to do. Your downtown there, that's our, that's our playground. Yeah. We don't have to pay for everything down there. Okay, we're gonna talk about your we got you got an event coming up. 
I did have a promise though because um, Dean Lavelli from Park Avenue, I met with him, guy is the owner of the eight restaurants for Park Avenue. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful guy. I mean, when I say entrepreneur, but he was giving out gift cards, so I did promise um, my guests. So if you can tell me all 10 sides, you have to type it up, all 10 sides um, on the menu, you get a $25 gift card to Park Avenue. And let me tell you, sometimes when you're hungry, that, that, yeah. that comes in handy. Yeah, so if you can good. tell me all 10 sides of uh, Park Avenue side dishes on their menu, you win a $25 gift card. So back to regularly scheduled programming. You have an event coming up on a boat. Um, uh, not quite a Sunday, April 15th. Did he say it so like calm? Yeah. It was. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you got a yacht party, no, no, you... no, actually, to be honest, is a, uh, the, 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 someone just you know I'm doing my party on the boat, but that's not my it's not it's not my uh, my event. Okay, well, yeah, but we're doing the I, I, I saw, saw you on the flyer. flyer. Yeah, I'm on the flyer. I'm okay, I'm one of those. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. okay. So I want to take no credit for going by that. Okay, okay. Yeah. we we'll talk about you can you talk well, about well, little April fifteenth. Um, Sunday, April 15th, mm -hmm. yacht party. I'm leaving out of Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. We do have tickets available, 60 bucks. Okay. So I like all my friends and homies and kings and queens. <laughs> <laughs> so for so so what? So you just because I've never been on a yacht party. What do you do on a yacht so, party? Um, that can't be compared. Sunday it was like three, four hundred. I mean we party. Okay, yeah, party. four to ten. Four to ten. Yeah. Bottle service available. Also, I mentioned. Did you say bottle service available? Bottle service. Bottle. Oh. Also, not I was going to say before quite, you had quite a strong vodka. We are. Yes. The reps, quite strong vodka. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk. Who gonna talk about that? Okay. Quite strong vodka is a, uh, it's a local brand. Um, mm -hmm. It's uh, hey, it's it's a new hot thing in South Florida. Okay. It's just launched here for about a few months ago. Uh, owner, which is Corey, he's a good friend, great friend of mine. I think Shout out for Corey, Corey, yes. Shout out to Corey. Yeah, well, I That's actually, they had some, I didn't taste it because it was that and I was like, I couldn't. It was eat. great. But um, Lacey had vodka. some. Lacey did have some. Mm -hmm. This is one of the smoothest, best tasting vodka, trust me. I'm not just yeah. saying it. No, no, smooth, no. Smooth, great tasting. And it's also going to be one of the base um, alcohols at the Jackie Bar for the mix of the frozen drinks. Wow. Yeah. Oh, well, that's what's up. Yeah, absolutely. And we have it in, like I said, some, all the Wal Walmarts. Mm -hmm. What are the flavors? Do they have? Um, flavors? Passion, you know, pleasure. It's a multi okay. flavor. I think we have a card I leave with you. Okay. We have the classic, of course. But uh, we, um, it's in Walmarts, all the Walmart mm -hmm. liquor stores. Uh, okay. As well as uh, it's popping up in a few other liquor stores throughout the area. Um, Pat's liquor store will be having it. Mm -hmm. And I'll sit in a, in a few um, down in Fort Lauderdale. Um, they just had a, a little lunch in it live. Mm -hmm. Lil, mm -hmm. last week I think Corey was down if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. okay. They did a taste of matching or something. Um, so there's some big things coming up with um, Quiet Storm Vodka. Wow. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, it's actually really good. Um, one of my favorite pleasures. Yeah, very good. Well, I'm not, not yeah, Why am I not definitely. surprised? His favorite is pleasure. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> great. Pleasure great. And all they have, you know, most vodka they have mm -hmm. one, um, you know, it's like it, it is, it's a peach. But this, this, this mm -hmm. blend is four different. Flavors, yeah. one. So it's, it's great. Wow. It's, yeah, and it speaks up for me. I mean, it's really, really comfortable to drink. You know, it don't mm -hmm. bite like that. But it's, I mean, it's, it's his, it's his name. It's Quiet Storm. It's sneak up on you. And you'll be. And then you have a, a storm afterwards. Yeah. 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 And uh, we do have a winner, Trina. Yeah, yeah Trina. Tr wait. Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Sorry. Hold on. Chauncey, yeah, I'm sorry, Trina. Chauncey got it right before you. I didn't even see it. So, Chauncey Black, right, you are the winner of the. Yeah, yeah, she got all the sides. <laughs> yeah, My viewers also, yeah. Hey, did Chauncey, you just Google that? <laughs> yeah, well, I actually told him to do it, you know, before because he wants to feed people. So, I have to make sure that I honor um, his wishes. So, Chauncey Black, you did win. And Chauncey actually is a, a stylist, um, she's an entrepreneur and a fashion stylist. You, you all don't need it. I know I need it sometimes, but you all don't need the styling. You actually could probably can go into the, style, the styling business for men, but I will have her on the show as well, so she's going to be doing some uh, styling technique. This is some women that need styling. Don't you agree? Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them. Oh, that was shade, Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah. He threw the whole palm tree at yeah, the yeah. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even shade. That was a direct missile hit for, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Trina, I'm sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna be giving more away. I promise you. I do have more. I do apologize. Oh my gosh. Okay, June, go ahead. No, no, we're not June forgetting. You all forget that. What is June? What is Jaffa? For Jaffa people is who like, don't know what Jaffa is, Malta Cultural Festival. Okay. They had the Riviera Beach Marina. Okay. June twenty fourth. It's gonna be Jaw Weekend. Riviera Beach to, Marina is doing a lot right yeah, now. It's very similar to Cool Fest. That's a, that's a great event. Mm -hmm. Cool Fest. So Jaw is is Jaw's J A H. Yeah, J A H. Is that like multicultural? Multicultural. Yeah. Okay. Hey, LaShawn. So, you know, if you got any questions for DMD, I don't know if y'all see these guys too often. But y'all mighty quiet. They must know a lot about you or something. Yeah, I need them to, uh, look, ask some questions, concerns. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you got going But, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a little messy. Not messy. But I told you I was going to ask you all. Okay. So, for women who want to date promoters or who are approached by promoters, that's a hard like thing to for me. I would think they have to be thick skinned. So if you can elaborate on that a little bit, just give a little public service announcement for the women who want. Like he's just smiling, <laughs> and, and, and Dexter <laughs> fell out over here because I'm. You know I'm gonna ask him. But anyway, no, let's keep it. We keep well, it real. We keep it real. Yeah, eye candy. Sure. Who's eye candy, Tessie? You know you're alive now. You know I'm gonna call you out. Who is eye candy? Oh, you know if you. Uh, <laughs> If you want to get in a relationship with a promoter, you know, you just, either you're going to help him in his world, you know, be supportive, or don't do it at all, you know, because, you know, you meet a lot of people, um, I don't know how it is for, I mean, a woman promoter knows a lot of, mm -hmm. a lot of men, yes, yeah, woman was, was you know, we you know, yeah. Had to be a woman that's very secure. And, and, a secure oh, because you're a host. At the end of the day, we're hosting a party, so we, we you know, saying we interact mm -hmm. with a lot of, you know, people. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like you said, you have to have thick skin and just know what it is. I mean, it's it's rough. Uh huh. But we uh -huh. we as DMD <laughs> marketing. Matilda, what is that? Is that running? <laughs> yeah, yeah you no, right. Yeah, you running. Yeah, you. No, because I always thought, you know, I always figured that. First of all, you have late nights. Let's let's, let's keep it real. You yeah. got late nights. Not late nights. Many women who are not into the club atmosphere or or whatever are probably home while you're out and about working. And I already know the type of women that usually, you know, stereotypical women who are in clubs. They they they're dressed kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. Lord, his oh his his whole eye got the itch when I saw that. But listen, <laughs> you know. But no, understand. So that you said they have to be secure with themselves. Yeah, they have to be very secure with themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, you all been doing secure. twenty years. I mean, I, 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 yeah, got, you know, I had some the, I had some issues uh, dating, being a promoter. You know, I mean. And my mama said, "Answer the question." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, answer the question. Do answer it. The question. I mean, it will affect the relationship. Mm hmm. So I, I, it does affect the relationship. Yeah. But you just have, like I say, you gotta be a strong couple. You gotta be a strong couple. Yeah. So do you think that the people, like if you date someone in the, the club ministry, you should be a clubber yourself? Does that help? Nah, that don't help at all. You need to tell the opposite. Really? Yeah. 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 I don't want to I mean, okay. I ain't saying nothing wrong with it, but I'd, I'd rather not, you know? But see, yeah, that, it, I mean, like I said, if it's, if it's, a, if it's a business, and you two are helping each other, mm -hmm. and y'all like looking for the prize, you know what I'm saying? Y'all looking to for the longevity about it, and you know you stay focused and stay a team. But if it's just I'm doing it and you're doing your own thing, then of course you know you're gonna think what you want. So you're not interested in what I'm doing or or how I'm getting money or you know things of that nature. Listen, after seeing acrimony, I feel like this: if you date a promoter, ladies, you need to be the cashier. You do. <laughs> But you need to be the what? The, what? the, 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 <laughs> the cashier. cashier. Oh, cashier. You need to be the cashier. Oh, yeah. You need to. You need to. Watch the cash. Yeah, I mean, you play a part in the business. Come on, come and, and, to, I'll be honest. Wait a minute. See, this is this is the problem. Look, this is why this is why he not, was not running. Not intentional flirting, but like you know, like being nice. But you're a host. You're a host. At the end of the day, hospitality. hospitality. Yeah, I ain't gonna say flirting, but you gotta. By drinks, you gotta make sure the women stick around. Mm -hmm. I mean, you come in there, you see the club kind of dead. 
and these ladies about to leave, you gotta purchase a drink. And that's the main thing. Okay. It's, it's honestly, these clubs, man, it's, it's, it's about the women. You want them to see you have a good time. Mm -hmm. And women come in, in, in five, you know, women come with their friends, mm -hmm. you know, so you want to see you have a good time. You know, they dress nice, this and that. I, I would like to make it worthwhile, you know, send them over a bottle of champagne or something yeah, like that. Yes. So those are things we do mm -hmm. because we appreciate you coming. Right. You know, you, you take care of the women, guys will come, but the main thing is how we've been successful in the things. You know, we see a group, you know, we'll send them over something. Mm -hmm. That's our appreciation. Not that you, you know, you can't be paid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to give something. That's the only way. Is that why the ladies always get in free? Because you want, you want to pack the club with the ladies. You know, they listen. Ladies women take their time to, you know, to, to, they go shopping to get your hair done, get mm -hmm. your nails done. Mm -hmm. You got to give something. But you, but you know, so the women, uh, they don't complain. They don't complain at the door. You get more men complain at the door about. Yeah, the things have changed. Mm -hmm. Times have changed. Yeah, women. They respect the door. Men, they come, they it's pay like, for, they can get in free. And it's almost get, like man free, free, yeah. man free before 12. Man free before 12. <laughs> if you did that, yeah. you'd be, you, you have a packed house. That probably, but yeah, man, you know, we're not doing that. Men got to be step up, be men. You know, you got to step up, man, you're in the club, you know, you got to. And it's a business. It's a business, yeah. So you, so basically you have Studio 404 coming, and that's going to be your baby. That's going to be your that's everything. Gonna be, that's right, that's right. So anything else that you're going to be doing besides, I mean, do you see in the future? Like oh, yes. Future? Are, I'm ahead of Studio 404. Oh. Yeah, just, we are already just, have this. First phase. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we plan on, we plan on spreading Studio 404 franchise. We got big dreams. Franchising? Yeah. yeah. Honestly, yeah. Aside from the business end, mm -hmm. um, what we are doing is, you know, we give back to our community a lot, and you know, we support, you know, Derry Sports. Yeah, I got, I got a shirt. He, he, they and gave we, me. you know, we go and we support, you know, Prentice with the uh, Walk Against yeah. Violence. Oh, you know, what I'm saying we've done a lot. Emmanuel Dupree has his grand opening tomorrow, Derry. Absolutely. And what is that? EJ's project. You know, what mm -hmm. this project is what it is. He, uh, the younger. I guess uh, you know, um, community students, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, kids tutoring, that, and, stuff know, tutoring like that. and mentoring. It's like mm -hmm. a tutoring mentoring yeah. program. If kids need mm -hmm. need someone to go after school to do homework, mm -hmm. uh, eat a meal, uh, mm -hmm. he, he's open his grand opening tomorrow. Actually, yeah, you know, we want to sponsor for that uh, studio four four. And like Desi said, we've been like, from basketball games. We're deep to, in the community. To mm -hmm. Charity. We, 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 uh, hey, Monica. Yeah. And what we also are doing is. Um, performing uh, like a trade show okay. and what it is is you know some kids their dreams of playing basketball football mm -hmm. you know don't necessarily happen so they don't have that person to say you know hey you know your uncle's a carpenter or your, your uncle's a, or your aunt do hair you know saying something to, to get you by mm -hmm. so when these kids graduate or they come home, they don't really know what they do, but it seems like everybody wants to be a rapper. It's kind of like a, mm -hmm. what you want to call it, like a excuse. Mm -hmm. So, this successful AC guy, entrepreneur, I know a lot of other people that um, are ready to get on board so we can help kids, you know, learn a trade and they can feel comfortable about it. You know, they can be really successful in learning AC, even the women, you know, like I said, um, cosmetology, you know what I'm saying, nursing, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. And we'll supply the applications, get you to the next step, mm -hmm. that door. So it's going to be the DMD marketing workshop. Kudos. You know, that we're doing. And that's up and coming. You yes. have a, a date yeah. yet for that? Yeah. No, no, we, we, we want to launch it, you know, probably during the summer. Okay. And get it, you know, get it going. You know, a lot of people are, um, you know, on board. Right. You know, like I said, we got, that's one hip, you know, big thing that, we, you know, we're adamant about we want to push mm -hmm. that because that, that, that holds down crime, you know, education. Mm -hmm. But these kids, you see them out there, you know, everybody wants to be a rapper, but you kind of lost. You know, it's an also, excuse to me. You mentioned, you don't want to forget mm -hmm. our dear friend, McCarthy Burns, she passed. That's what DMD marketing. Like you mentioned earlier, was the M, but you know, it's all right. You can have that for now, but yeah. McCarthy Burns is, is the M. Uh, really? Yeah, friend, he passed and he had pancreatic cancer. Oh. So that's how we came with the name DMD marketing. Because like, he was the third was person. Mad and, Dex, Dex, man, and Dex. That's how we came wow. with DMD yeah. marketing. Okay, yeah. that was because I always wondered. Yeah, that's McCarthy Burns. Shout out to McCarthy Burns. Wow. Yeah.
So I know you do, you do. Smiley. Look at Matilda say <laughs> awesome. So you, you do um, marketing. So for people that like are looking and they have a business, could they hire you for their marketing? How does that work? For Absolutely. You? Okay. Do you? Yes. They, um, well, we see, you know, what's going on, what it's about. Mm -hmm. If we, you know, if it's something we're comfortable with. If it's legit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that, that would be the first. Yeah. Okay. And then we take it from there, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We discuss, you know, what, how long you want to do this for, or what are you marketing, so we can, we try to get the literature on it so we know what we're talking about, mm -hmm. and so we can explain it very well, mm -hmm. you know, or, or yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the event. Okay, well, does, okay, so do you just market events, or let's say, for example, like an up-and-coming business who really is not social media savvy, really doesn't have, I mean, we you know, support, like, for example, okay. like, uh, Caesar's Catering. Yeah. Shout out to Caesar Kane. Okay. Shout out to Rodney Crab. Oh yeah, Tuttle Rodney Crabs. Jim mm -hmm. with Heaven Sink Cleaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Alvin Daniels. <laughs> and I gotta say something. Supplies. Shout out to Sin Fitness. I can't let you die, baby. Yeah, and uh, Sincere Movements. Actually, she's having a, uh, a um, an event this weekend. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, what I'm saying just explaining more about money and this and that savings and stuff like that. So I gotta give her. Props on doing her for her on mm -hmm. the kids and you know what I'm saying getting them on the next level and it's also educating you know women you know mm -hmm. saying to bring them better also so mm -hmm. you know sincere movements sin fitness and this yeah. sin fitness this weekend yes actually uh no my bad I gotta get back with you on that but it's it's a flyer <laughs> up on that I don't want to be wrong he tried and we'd be like oh yeah but I definitely. You know, put that up. Well, actually, with the live feed, you can go back under and yeah, type. and then type it in. Yeah, type it in so they'll know. And you and you and you said you you saying something. And also, once a month, the uh, men's talk. Yeah, men's talk. Shout out, yeah. shout out to Chris Caesar. Um, the next event, men's talk. This is a great event. It's about um, mentoring, not just the seed, but the, the adults, the grown men, mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that they uh, we can make a way for the younger generations. So shout out to Chris Caesar, he's the host and the speaker for that event. Mm -hmm. uh, the next event will be April 13th. April 13th. Yes, and it's called Men's Talk? Men's Talk. And, yes. and it's basically a man powwow? Yes, man powwow. All topics? All topics. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's great. It's strong, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's like a brotherhood thing and mm -hmm. you actually leave out feeling real good. You know, it's just yeah. about not crabbing, it's about Helping one another, mm -hmm. you know, get to the next level, you know, helping hand, keep it going, and mm -hmm. you know, businesses like black businesses, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, keeping it locked and you know. It's not usually the iron shop and I mean, a lot of brothers just very encouraging things. Mm -hmm. and yeah. You need that. Kind of yeah. You need yeah. that. So, and you said this is every, every month. Yeah, yeah, he does it once a month. So why, why, why don't more people know about this? Well, we just started. Yeah. We just started. Oh, this was the first one. Oh, this is That's this actually is the second one. Okay. Third. Third. Okay. Third one. Well, we're we're, 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 well let we're, me know. We're, share we're, it on yeah. my so when you do it, yeah, I can share do. it because you know, we always have these women empowerment events. But I'm like, men need to be empowered too. Right. You all, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. You know, you know it's just time to, you know, get back what <laughs> what we used to have. You mm -hmm. know, used to walk in, you see your uncle on the store, your auntie did this and that, but mm -hmm. it's about Helping one another get to the next level. Mm -hmm. So the advice that's been going, you know, saying for the older guys that been there, mm -hmm. you know, they just put you on some history and bring you back. Mm -hmm. And so this is the only way we can move forward. Right. You know. Educate ourselves so that we can lead some back to our seniors. We got something. We got something. Yeah, going something. Yeah. So anything else you think you want to get out there and? No, that's it. I'm good, man. Well, our anniversary party coming up. 10th oh, 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 yeah. And uh, we oh, gotta yeah. change the date because we have a. Uh, we have to go out of town for a uh, another event yes. that date. So we're going to change the date for the uh, annual party. It's be our tenth annual, so we're going to change. So the this date is not around Christmas time. No, no, that's the holiday party. But this is when we okay form, you know, DMD marketing, mm -hmm. and um, so we're looking forward to that. And we're you don't have a date yet. We did have a date on the twenty first. Yeah. Of this month, so we got to change it. I'm glad because I'll be in Orlando, so I'm glad you changed it. Yeah, yeah, so we'll probably do it the following month. Okay, Sometimes. so 10 years strong. Yeah. Well, 10 years strong, well, I know what I mean. I know what I mean. Well, man, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, just a little history. I'm like, we 
we used to watch cars. <laughs> we used to watch cars, you know. Yeah, and um, yeah. And we started from the dub, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we. That's where we started. You know, we always had jobs, but when we like, we watched cars, and then just our hustle just became really strong, man. Just, you know, we love to, you know, we like to enjoy life. You know, he had his kid that he take very well care of me also. You know, my babies, and you know, he posts his kids. You know, we make time as fathers, even though we have our businesses going on. Yeah. And some people, I'm like, like, when y'all sleep? Yeah, when? Yeah, do you, yeah that yeah, question. When y'all sleep? The kids thing is, um, that's another thing that uh, uh, drove me to start my own business. I remember the story of my oldest daughter, uh, Megan. She was a, uh, she was young. Mm -hmm. She probably don't know this, but she was asking me to go to Walt Disney World. So she heard me say, oh, "Well, I got to go to work and ask Fred, can I get the day off?" So she was like, the following week when she came to the house, she was like, um, she was walking around looking at, at me. She was like, um, "Dad, is, is Fred gonna give you the day off?" So I thought at that point, oh no. You know, like I get my my daughter know I got to depend on another man to, to take her to Disney World. So right. that pushed me. You know, like oh, I got yeah. I got to go. You know, and that's I what to, drove yeah, you. I need to work for myself. That's what drove you. So to I be need to get when I, I want to go to Disney World every day. <laughs> to, not just to wait on. Well, you know what? So I I, I salute I salute you too because you are actually look at Corey. Oh, Corey comes in at the <laughs> opening. Hey, he's on yo. Yeah, Corey near. What's up, Corey? Um, I salute See, you all because you are living actually what they call the American dream. To be your own boss. Oh, thank you. Thank no, you are. And yeah. you're able to still be young and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Yes. Which is really important. Because I see y'all with the, with the cigars and, you know, your rooftop parties. and you, you, you But you, you put your dues in, I think. And there's yeah. more to come. That's why I was asking, like, from five years from now, like, where do you see DMD marketing? Because, yeah. I mean, is it going to get, you think the club thing is going to get? You yeah, know, the more it's a okay. special events. You know, okay. events. Uh, Something similar about Jaw Fest and then DMD probably turned into some venues now. We can still yes. go forward. Mm -hmm. We're going to move forward until mm -hmm. um, maybe they'll try to open up a few more venues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll try to try to bring some artists to town. You know, yeah, artists. Just, you know, just mm -hmm. things change. You got to change with the time. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to change, you got to change with, a, with an idea. And it has to be bigger than what you're doing, you know, mm -hmm. what you're doing here. Because there's someone going to come here and they're going to, you know, it's. It changes in time, you know. Mm -hmm. The younger come, they get older, this and that. But like I said, we we're moving on to a, a lot of whole lot of big, you know, things. You mm -hmm. know, let's say you say other venues, like we were so concentrating on four mm four, -hmm. and um, a lot of other opportunity. You know, what I'm saying like Quiet Storm. Heck, in, in a minute, I think we're going to have our own cigar. <laughs> you know, we, Speak we, it. We're looking upon, you know, things mm -hmm. that are going on. So, mm -hmm. so. Four four. Once this was on, we, we want to take it somewhere else. Okay. You know, so DMD Market will be a brand of all of it. You know, mm -hmm. it's going to carry on. We, we do our own marketing. We just. Well, y'all have it. Um, not at the moment. We will be. Oh, okay. Shout out to Alex Burns. <laughs> Co-owners, Alex Burns. Shout okay. out to Alex. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, do you know what you'll be looking for when you do? He's not hiring yet, but when you when you when that comes, what will you be looking for? Bartenders, waitresses. Cafe staff. Cafe staff. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, we're going to get hit up. Oh, yeah. We can hit already. Yeah. yeah we got yeah, hit. hit about a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> really? Because yeah. everybody yeah. ready? Yeah, hope to be yeah. opening. So you're going to do like a grand opening party? Yeah, we're going to do a grand. We should have that. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. It's going to be big. And, we, and like I said, we're in prime area, mm -hmm. prime real estate. You know, it's right downtown. So mm -hmm. that's what we believe in. You know, we deserve to be there. And that's why we're there, and we're not taking no for an answer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as far as the business, as far as my job, his job, mm -hmm. and the marketing, I think that's where we were able to build on things or put DMD in a, put DMD marketing in a, in a position to, you know, just go over the edge a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, and things. I mean, a lot of things we come out of pocket on, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we um, like I said, we sponsored a a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know, just to get that marketing there. You know, what well, we did Roots Festival one year, yeah. sponsored the old shirts, mm -hmm. um, MLK Parade, mm -hmm. you know, we sponsored the shirts on that. So, the um, Walk Against Violence, you know, um, mm -hmm. hell, we did with the Q's and we did with the uh, AKA. So, mm -hmm. you know, people know who we are, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we appreciate that. 
But the thing is, you know what I mean? It's a brand. It's it's it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's. I think we did enough that make our name respected. You know, you see DMD market, and that's mm -hmm. what I stand by. I love it, mm -hmm. and um, I think it is what it is. So, DMD market, baby. So we're gonna leave. So every time I get on the show, I ask people because you're on the People of Power show. So mm -hmm. I feel like you're powerful because you're sitting with me. And uh, yeah, I said it. Wakanda forever. So if you can give people that are watching, you just throw it out there in the universe, a superpower, what would you give them? You can give away any superpower. And you could be thinking about this. Give any superpower away? Mm-hmm. Heck, you know who had the best superpower was the Kevbells. <laughs> You know, Lord well. Jesus. They had the power of passion, the power okay. of this. Okay, that's good. So, I mean, you're, you know, <laughs> power of passion. Right, no. <laughs> you got to have something. Passion. You know, if, if you believe in something, you know, and your drive is, you got to have something that, that's going to make you work. I mean, most people say the kids, this and that, which that's one. But then you got to do it for yourself mm -hmm. because you raise your kids, you get them where they got to go, but then it's still you. Mm -hmm. So, in, the, in my ride, in my journey, I'm able to take care of my kids and, and enjoy my life, mm -hmm. you know, and I surround myself with positive people. Mm -hmm. So if you're not surrounded with positive people that are making moves to make you better, see, mm -hmm. I, I need someone to, dang, you know, you like educate me. But if you stagnant with someone that just can't, you know, pinpoint something in your brain, make it jump, mm -hmm. you need to, you need to like find some more friends or something like that but power and, it's, and it's not and, and I'm glad you said that because you know sometimes people feel like when you move on um, from your circle that you think you're better and, and sometimes you want better you, you want right. you, yeah. you have to want better you, but you, you, you know you have to move on the circle of separate the stuff you yeah you won't get to you what you <laughs> no, want he's definitely right your circle will disintegrate you're right, you're right. the yeah. circle will disintegrate yeah. you grow you're growing if they're not growing with you, then, mm -hmm. you know, look, your vine growing up, your flower is up here, and man, you want to stay a weed, and that's on you, <laughs> you know, but I like to shine, mm -hmm. so we can shine together, mm -hmm. but you, you got to find that, you got to find out with the people that'll get you there, because in the long run, you got to take care of yourself, you got to take care of your family, you can't depend on no one to do that, mm -hmm. so you got to be passionate about what you're doing, and love what you're doing, you know, and make it work for you. Y'all didn't know he had a little T.D. Jakes up in here. We're going to have some church. Okay. Okay. So we over to the next, <laughs> we over to the next round. You, you got, you got to give away a superpower. Um, to remain humble. Um, that would be my superpower. To remain oh, that's humble. a, that's a big one. Yeah. Humble yourself, you know? Yeah. That's um, a big one. Yeah. And then you got to be willing to make sacrifices. If you ain't willing to make sacrifices, you won't make no advancement. Mm -hmm. So if you ain't willing to give up no sacrifices and follow your dreams, you need to forget it. Mm -hmm. But humble is, a, I think that's but really humble, big. But humble yourself. And because remain humble throughout, throughout it all. And that's, that's a big one because I think a lot of times people get caught up in the success and they forget like where they came they from, from and they absolutely. start running their mouths right, right, and yeah. messing up and right, and. Yeah. And that's why I, you know, like I love my little humble beginning because you know I'm just starting my show off, right. and I, I thank you all for even joining me because you know this is this is something this is, this is something new and growing, and I have bigger things. But this is my humble beginning, and sometimes you know it starts off slow, but you can't get discouraged because if you get discouraged, you, right. you'll never get to. Right. Lynn says you can't be an eagle if you're hanging around with chickens, and that's and that's true. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah. a lot of times we forget that uh, we yeah. we have to start from somewhere. Right. Sometimes we want to get out there and we're like, oh, I want 20,000 views. I want 30,000 views. I want and all these people to gravitate to me. But it doesn't happen that way. And that's and that's exactly what he said. You know, mm -hmm. it's the it's the journey. It's the mm -hmm. grind to, you know, people may meet you now and see, but they don't know what it took. You know, I mean, there's only one person, these young men know what I've been through. Mm -hmm. And I know what he's been through. Mm -hmm. And it's a blessing for me and him to be, you know, you know, successful, mm -hmm. being able to take care of our kids, man, and to go where we want to go mm -hmm. and, and just do that because mm -hmm. you, know, you only live once. But as long as my kids are good and the people surrounding me, you know, all mm -hmm. great, you know, that's that's what makes me happy. 
You know well, what I, I, mean? I, I salute you, brothers. Let me tell you, you know, nobody's perfect on this couch, and nobody perfect. We none of us are perfect, but you are you are consistently giving good content. Thank you, Lynn. With you, this is a What's smart up, woman. You know her? No. Oh, okay. No, She's an attorney. She's very smart. Very good. One of my toes master buddies. Lynn, Lynn Whitfield. Okay. But yes, yes, the process is priceless. Yeah, hey, Trinette Morris is showing, you know, Trinette Morris, Trendy Gourmet. Hey, hey, Trinette. Y'all gotta meet her. She got some good care. Listen, I'm always talking about your care, right? She's, she's another one that's, right. that's an entrepreneur yeah. and rising. But, what? she's right. It's priceless. Process is priceless. Mm -hmm. But you know, then you gotta get away from the entitlement. You have people that entitlement. You know, they, you're doing something and they, they feel they're entitled to be a part of that just because they're, you know, family or friend. But, mm -hmm. you know, if you didn't go through the struggle, where's the entitlement? Right. And it's, I think the process builds character because, like, you know, as I'm going through my process and I'm growing, I'm finding out things, I'm learning things about people that I didn't know about. And people are funny because when you're when you're on top, you know, it's kind of like, oh, you know everybody loves you but you you hit that pitfall and a lot yeah. of times you hit that pitfall because that we, those weeds need to be cleaned out your garden yeah because you'll, you'll bring everybody aboard with you yeah. when you're on top yeah because everybody is smiling everybody's great but then when you hit that pitfall then it's like where are they where yeah. are they yeah they oh man Stabbing. i told you they, they start what they start scattering, they start scattering. scattering. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, another thing before we leave, I just want to say, it says real, real grown men, exactly. So proud of you both. Doable. That's what everyone needs, right, needs to hear. Everything's doable. Girl, she, no, she, yes. Yeah, yes, she, she been right. She, she knows DMD marketing. Mm -hmm. And she did a, uh, a few events with us, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to Rochelle. Shout Rochelle. Queen of controversy. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> I just want to tell you this, Lynn, and this is more so yeah. advice. And I always like to throw, like, positive vibes out there to people because... We might have eight people viewing us now, but trust me, it'll it'll quadruple later. And I, you know, people kind of listen later. Yeah. But for you being event people, and I want to I want us to know when you're doing events or you're doing anything, you know how you get kind of nervous and you you have that little voice that tells you that it's it's gonna fail. You know, the people not coming. Yeah, the, people, the people not the people not coming like we thought they were gonna come, but they're not buying yeah. tickets or they're not supporting like we think and you know usually in the last hour is going to work what gives you that drive to say you know what i'm not going to give up this is not this is not we're going we're going to get through this well i i just think you know if you haven't failed in anything you got to keep trying you know mm -hmm. failure brings success mm -hmm. so you got to keep keep moving like man i'm not you know going to stop you know trying mm -hmm. because you just got to do better right. you know you, you study for a test you pass, you pass, you fail, you reach there, and then now you pass. You know, that's, that's just the way life is. And even those events that, that do um, seem like they're going to fail, you still take advantage of them, use it for marketing. Mm -hmm. you, get, you highlight, you, you get the nice pictures and highlight the best of that, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, yeah. it's not fair. Those are, you can take that you same smart, and yeah. right. use it for marketing. Right. I mean, it's always like an right, ego right. thing because we always yeah, want to pack house. You know, yeah. that's like a, a wow, look at what we've done. But then when you get it where you like, well, I can see through the room. Yeah. But the people that who are there, right. like that's why I say the quantity sometimes the quality. Right. Because that person that's there could have yeah. could have had the you best make, time of their life yeah, you ever. That, you can make that event look nice so the old sedan show up feel like they missed something. So you just, you just, you just, you just <laughs> trick, trick that trade. Yeah. Tricks, yeah. tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade. Tricks of the trade. Okay. But I just yeah. wanted to hear that from you all because sometimes you know, people who, listen, they all have one fellow event and they're throwing a the towel. They can't, yeah. their ego cannot be, ego, you know, be messed up more than one time. It's like, you know, I didn't have, be disappointed. I didn't have 1,000 viewers, I'm never going live again. Like, and you're like, how do you, how do you do that? Because anybody who's been successful, they'll tell you. I was watching Sarah Jakes, I don't know if you know who she is, she's a TD Jakes daughter. Yeah. Yeah. And she said when her husband first started his church, right. the pews were empty. Now they have stadiums. But just think, like, if you give up because give the pews up. are empty, it, it's going to grow. If you're, if, yeah. if God gave it to you and you're consistent in what you're doing, I just want to tell my business owners, please, yeah. I, I, see, I say this all the time because I hear so many people, they're like, oh, well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if people are going to be drawn yeah. to me. I don't know. So, events like that make you great when you fail, like Desi said, fail mm -hmm. success. So a lot of times when we have a man, Desi, we laugh about it, we sit back to the table. Mm -hmm. Think of something else, you know. It make you sharp, make you think. Yeah, right. It exercise your mind, make you. So 
Mm-hmm. Okay, we gotta do something we different. Do something mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. And then you have to. I think you have to go back and always critique it and, and be honest with yourself and say, "This is what I couldn't have did better." Because some people right, they right. won't do that. They'll just right. be like, "Oh, well, it was everybody else." You know, it wasn't me. It they wasn't. No excuses for your kids. I don't care if they have something else going on. Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. No. <they're> <laughs> so you fail. Fail. They're, they're oh no yeah, excuse. five people have parties. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know, because because uh, something going on in Miami, that's why they didn't come here. <laughs> yeah, because you know, if we, we yeah, we'll be quick to say yeah. something like that. But we always love what we're doing. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, we have a party in our own party. That's right. You know, so we go and party. We might we bring party twenty guys. ourselves, and we good. Right. You know, but mm-hmm. we're paying for it, so mm-hmm. it's our party. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, it's our party. So anybody ever came, or, you know, you've been there. You, mm-hmm, we mm-hmm. have our own party, so it's a success. We well, all always been positive brothers to me. That's why I wanted to, you know, wanted to talk to you. Well, you know, you family. Anyway. But I think that you know it's great for people to hear the lifestyle and the inside and out because a lot of times, like I said, we get so caught up with social media and we get so mm-hmm. caught up. But you are like so much more than just the marketing aspect. Right, absolutely. Yeah. So anything else you want? You want? You got anyone last? Things you really want to say? No, did you want to say something? I'm not looking over there right now. I'm not looking over there. I'm not. No, I mean, shout out, friend. It's John J. Rock. You know, all my homeboys. Those those guys really, you know, support us. We supported them, and Mm -hmm. they supported us. You know, so Mm -hmm. shout out to the Prophet Boys. Because you know, people always will say, "You ain't shout me out. You got on the evening, say nothing." So that's why I was. Yeah, well, we see these guys a lot. We see mm-hmm. them all the time. Mm-hmm. Inspirational and informative. Kenya, I love watching people of power. You bring us, the, you bring us the best of the best. Our people is on the rise. Thank you, Des and Dex. You, Des and Dex, you both have provided me with great service and businesses, as I know firsthand. DMV always brings classy events. May God continue to bless all three of you, bigger and better. And that was. Thanks, Matilda. Thank you, Matilda. With her, and yes, hey, and she's soon. A I still need beard to pick line. up my beard. Yes, yes. Yeah, she's I, another I, entrepreneur yes, on yes, the rise. So yes, put yes. put your information on there, Matilda. My, you see, I'm trying to grow. Yes, yeah, so, come Matilda, on now. Yes. Take care of me. Any last, any last? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. That's it. I feel like we Yeah, more. we appreciate you. We appreciate this. you for having okay. us on the show. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we are. We appreciate you. And like I said, in the future, you'll see these shows live. At Studio Four Four. Yes, Absolutely. yes, yes. So we are. We definitely have some big things coming up. And uh, I just want to say, everybody, uh, you know, they came dressed. I can't show you everything, but you know, these guys are are doing things. So please join us again um, Sunday. Sunday, I have my girl coming on. Um, for people who came to my event, um, Reverend Angela Young. I just feel like our sisters kind of need some. We need some some little prayer. We got a, a Sunday best session. Oh, oh okay. Green. Shout out to Eddie Green. Thank you, uh, See, I was forgetting. Hey, Cynthia Parker. Uh, hey. Was it old school? Same place, Riverview Beach Marina. Mm-hmm. Uh, comedian Eddie Green shot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I get shot <laughs> for, but, but Rick Shiv, I gotta give you a shout out. Bro. <laughs> Just <laughs> keep a look. My dog, he he's somebody, boy. He always support man. That's yes. all my dog. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, shout out to Rick Shiv, man. Shiv been riding with us a long Y'all time. Y'all forgot somebody. He did the holiday party. I ain't forget about West. No. Shout out West. This but y'all, is yeah, yeah, but y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all forgot about somebody else. You all gonna get it. Yeah. Who's at your doors? Oh. Yeah, your daughter and uh, Kizzy. Kids? Oh, kids, absolutely. Jesus. That's my family, though. Kids. But you still supposed yeah, to wreck it, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna support kids. That's me. Man, that's serious. I love it, man. Kizzy, okay. my daughter, Amber, Shay, Shay, Reese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah they, they, they make sure that money right. That's what it. Right and, and, and y'all, shout yeah, that's what it's shot. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, Kizzy, I'm Jimmy. sorry. Anybody shout out to Big Jimmy. Big Jimmy? With Phil. Yeah, Phil. Phil, shout out to Phil. Phil's always been a big security. He's security that and that. So you remember, though, in this supporter. video, when we're, going, I would say when we're going, this video is going to still run. So that's why I just make sure you got all your shout outs because, you know, people get their feelings. If, well, if I forgot anybody, y'all please forgive me. I am imperfect. Yes. So more for Quiet Storm, too. Hopefully, um, Corey, on the show. Corey, yeah, we're, we're talking more about that. So so we're going to go. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you. No appreciate problem. It. No problem. Appreciate you having us on. You know, and, um, I know this will be uh, 
bigger than what it is now. It's gonna grow. The people, people of power, of power. yes. People of power, so. And that's really it's called for it's stand for pushing on when everything's rough. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Pushing on when yeah. everything's rough. Yeah, that's power. Check out Kitty. That's power. So yeah, join us Sunday. If you need some prayer, if you need some spiritual guidance, my girl is coming through when I tell you she is beautiful and she's a powerhouse. So, you know, we all need some some blessings. So we're gonna be seeing y'all come on right now. But anyway, peace out. And uh, Chauncey Black, I got your card. So, bye, everybody.